The Vikings are described in a number of ways. Fearsome, ferocious, noble, vicious, skillful, and even respected. They were the dominant force in their part of the world for a period of time, and they were a proud warrior race. Anglo-Saxon history records a flurry of Viking invasions around the end of the 8th century. Those events mark the beginning of a long and bloody fight for dominance of England between the Anglo-Saxons and the Vikings. But as good as Vikings were, it was one English king who stopped the Vikings from taking over all of England. Who was he? How did he do it? And what happened after his death? Well, that's what today's video is all about. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. The Vikings were called Danes by the Anglo-Saxons, although it was learned later this was not totally accurate. The Vikings were a diverse group of people that came from all around the Scandinavian region, including Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. The Vikings' raids were somewhere in the 9th century in England, were just too much for the locals, so the English king Alfred the Great took the stand and prevented the Vikings from taking over the whole country of England. He decided to make peace with them, and some Vikings relocated to a region of eastern England known as the Danelaw, where they established a permanent settlement. Despite the fact that the Anglo-Saxons and Vikings lived next door to one another in Britain, they did not always get along well. After Alfred the Great, English kings progressively reclaimed more land from the Vikings. Edward, Alfred's son, fought for control of the Danelaw, while Athelstan, Alfred's grandson, extended English dominance north to Scotland. In 954, the Anglo-Saxons defeated Eric Bloodaxe, Jorvik's last Viking king. Later, when Eric was killed in the war, the Vikings consented to submit to the King of England. Edgar was the most powerful Anglo-Saxon king. Welsh and Scottish kings, like the English, submitted to him, and his court at Winchester was one of the most magnificent in Europe. During Edgar's reign, Anglo-Saxon England reached its peak. Now let's move forward to 1066, when England was attacked twice. In the north, a Norwegian force led by Harald Hardrada attacked King Harald, the son of King Edward. King Harald defeated Hardrada in the famous Battle of Yorkshire Stamford Bridge. Then, William's Norman army arrived in Sussex three days later. Harald raced south, and the Battle of Hastings put the two forces against each other. The Normans triumphed, but King Harald was killed, and William was crowned king. Anglo-Saxon and Viking rule came to an end because of this. In England, a new era of Norman domination had begun, and these events of 1066 AD marked the end of Vikings in England, as most of them had converted to Christianity. So we will end our video here. If you have any thoughts, please let us know in the comments section. Like and subscribe to the Vikings Code channel, because we will be providing you the authentic information regarding Vikings. Don't forget to hit the bell icon as well, and we will see you in the next one.